Why is everybody flipping out about the flipped classroom? How does the flipped classroom improve student interaction and engagement in class? How does it improve collaboration and meaningful feedback? What technology is required to have a flipped classroom? Some of the goals of the flipped classroom model include finding an approach that would make it possible for faculty to move from sage to guide, reducing the amount of time spent in class on lecturing, opening up class time for the use of active learning strategies, focusing more on understanding and application than on recall of facts, while not sacrificing presentation of the factual base, provide students with more control over their own learning, give students a greater sense of their own responsibility for their learning, provide students with more opportunities to learn from their peers. Let's look at some examples of choice technologies that are leveraged by faculty to promote more engaged student learning with flipped instruction. Uh, so one of the things that I have incorporated in the class um, that's been kind of um, revolutionary to me and I think it's uh, been kind of neat for the students is the use of Flickr. My favorite technology tool currently is uh, in a class that I teach where students are tr learning to become natural resource managers. And so I teach an ecology course and so what I used Flickr for was to have students go out to the field and choose a location and they would visit that location each week and what I would do is I would have them do exercises that tied into the theories that we were talking um, about that week. They're applying what they've learned in four years and uh, to real life problems. So the idea is that they would apply theory to an actual location that's personalized to them um, so it gets them out in nature um, and they would capture their, their site with photos and then they would upload them and discuss some of the theories in the uh, discussion part of the, of the photo. I like to use the concept of uh, building learning community so what I've been doing is using Skype along with the classroom management software to uh, pull in um, professional managers into the classroom to give students feedback on assignments and these folks are resource, natural resource managers, park managers who have the kinds of jobs, middle level and upper level management position that students in this class aspire to have someday. And the other cool thing about it is that they can geotag those photos and in ecology one of the main concepts is this idea of tying information to location. The nice thing about Skype is that I can bring someone in from as far away as, as, as what we've done is Yosemite National Park to uh, give them feedback. It allows students to take um, like a field experience and translate it into an authentic assessment uh, by having them tie information to location. Seem to prepare better because they know what they're doing it for an external um, evaluator. And the folks in education scholarship tell me this is called uh, authentic assessment. One of our passions here in learning design and technology, known as LearnDebt, formerly known as VUDebt, is connecting you with your colleagues and the tried and tested pedagogical practices they are implementing using innovation with technology. So we invite you to come hear more exciting examples this fall in our Learn That Breakfast series, which is every second Wednesday of the month. And we also want to encourage you to sign up for a flipped session workshop, which is October 31st. Don't miss other exciting events and opportunities at our Learn That site. We'll see you there.